What is on, going on, guys? Welcome to this album review for Voix Deer by Earl Sweatshirt. Hopefully, you guys can't hear the traffic outside. By Earl Sweatshirt and the Alchemist. Um, damn, it's so sick to say that. I know I'm late on this. I know this album came out forever ago, twice. It, it dropped on this website called Gala, and then it dropped on streaming services like a, two months after that. Um, and two different versions, not super different versions, but three tracks that were different. I'm going to talk about both versions and just kind of which version I prefer over the other one as well. Um, but dude, it is just so sick to be able to say that we have an Earl Sweatshirt and Alchemist album like that. Uh, like that shit has been in the pantheon of, of hip hop lore for fucking ever. Like. I don't know how long it's been exactly, but I know for years and years we've been talking about the fact that Alchemist said that there was a hidden Earl and Alk album somewhere on YouTube and just no one knows where it is. So, I mean, people have been searching for this. People found that caveman whatever YouTube channel and, you know, went down that fucking rabbit hole and tried to figure out. Sorry, excuse me. And tried to figure out where this album is because, dude. One of the best producers of all time, linking up with one of the best lyricists of all time. Certainly one of my personal favorite rappers of all time, linking up with one of my personal favorite producers of all time. Like, this is something that me and hip hop heads like me were just fucking super excited for to hear one day. Whether it be somebody finding it on YouTube, whether it be them releasing a new one like this is. I'm pretty sure this is new music. I don't think this is the hidden YouTube one. I could be wrong about that. Um, I saw some people saying it was the hidden YouTube one. I don't, I don't think it is, but again, could be wrong, but it's just some of the stuff that Earl's talking about, talking about having a kid, um, just kind of the mind state he's in right now. doesn't sound like old Earl. It sounds like a new, more mature, just in a more peaceful, beautiful state of mind. Like, honestly, like he's dropping gems all over this thing that are just, it's, it's, it's really refreshing to hear Earl in this more positive mind state. And he was kind of like that on sick too, but sick definitely still had, you know, um, moments of a lot of that super depressive state. And, and, you know, voir dire makes reference to it, but it's more so looking at it from like a, a present moment of looking back at where he was and not so much saying this is still where he is. Um, and more, more so him saying how he began to climb out of it. Um, but yeah, I, I love this album, man. It is, like I said, it's super refreshing to hear Earl in this positive mind state. I don't want to jump to any conclusions, but this is certainly one of my favorite Earl albums already. Um, I think Alchemist killed it on the beats. A personal favorite beat of mine on here is Vin Scully. Just every time it comes in, I'm just like, yeah. And, and the way he looped it to cut the vocal sample right at the very end before it loops again i just i'm an, I'm, I'm a fucking crackhead for shit like that bro like yeah so i i love that beat i love that verse i love the baseball wordplay you know the earl is so crazy with with the baseball wordplay it, it, it's a hook he does it twice so i don't know if it's the hook but to be putting crazy wordplay like that in the hook if it is the hook sick bro um earl is as always, extremely lyrically sharp on this album. I'm sure there's still stuff that I'm missing. I'm sure there's still stuff that I'm going to catch down the road as I continue to come back to this album. I've already listened to it a uh, countless amount of times, but I'm sure the more I come back to it, the more I'm going to discover. That's just kind of how Earl's music is. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of people are going to see this as like... I don't know if I want to say renaissance. I, I, a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people are going to see this as like a resurgence or like a, oh, Earl Sweatshirt's back kind of album. Because I know a lot of people were not big on Feet of Clay, definitely. And I know a lot of people weren't that big on Sick either. I know they liked songs from it, um, but people weren't that big on it. Me personally, I love Sick. Feet of Clay, I understand why people didn't like it. I still like it, but I understand why people didn't. Sick, I fucking love Sick, man. Some of my favorite Earl tracks come from that album so i'm i'm certainly not one of those people but i know a lot of people are were underwhelmed by both of those projects and um i have a feeling that they're gonna look at this one as like oh this is what this is what i want from earl i have, I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna be like oh earl sweatshirt's back with this album um which again i disagree with but if that does happen for a large majority of people who have kind of tuned out of earl because they were disappointed with the last two albums, then sick. Because 
again, I think he's one of the best lyricists ever. And the more attention he gets and the more credit he gets for that, um, I think the better. Just because he is a very low-key, out-of-the-way person. I think he doesn't get acknowledged you know, quite to the level that he should for just how talented he is lyrically. Um, but yeah, man, let's talk about the fact that there's two versions to this album. Um, so I was living under a rock for a few months, just like keeping to myself, not really, I, I had deleted social media and everything. I wasn't really on online, so I wasn't seeing a whole lot of stuff. Um, but this album came out on Gala. I didn't realize until like two weeks later. I think, I don't know what, I was just on an Earl binge. I was listening to a lot of Earl and I was like, you know what, let me go see if like there's a plan for Earl to drop like a new album or something. I Google, come to find out this motherfucker dropped an album two weeks ago with one of my favorite producers and I had no clue about it. So scramble to go find out how I can listen to that. Realize it's on this website called, called Gala which I thought was weird, realize that they're selling NFTs and all this weird shady shit with it, With which, like, get your hustle on if you're going to get your hustle on. Like, I'm not going to hate. But I was just like, okay, I'm not buying none of that shit. I buy merch, though. Some of the merch was fire. I want that Vince Scully uh, long sleeve shirt. That shit was, that shit's clean. But, um, but yeah, I was like, I'm not going to buy any NFTs or anything. But you could listen to the album for free on the website. I did that. Um... I'm not going to lie, I got it on my phone, by ways of which I'm not going to say, but I got it on my phone and in my library before it was out on streaming, and I was listening to it constantly. Um, the tracks that are on that version that aren't on the streaming version that most of you guys watching this video have probably heard is um, My Brother the Wind, which is my personal favorite of the three that get removed from the streaming version. Um, the other one was All the Small Things, I believe was the name, and then Geb. And Geb, people seem to really, really like Geb. It's a, it's dope. It's dope. But I, it just wasn't one of my favorites. I was okay with seeing that one go, especially because what replaced it was the Caliphate. And that beat is incredible. Like, Vince is incredible on that. Um, yeah, man, I, I'm, I love the Caliphate, so I'm okay with that one getting replaced with that one. I was pretty hurt to see My Brother the Wind go, because I definitely love when that beat comes on. Um, I definitely love Earl on that song. That that song is really sick. If I was going to make a deluxe version of Wadir, I'm putting My Brother the Wind on it, because that, that song is super dope. I am a little sad to see that one go, but the one replacing it, Mancala, I love... Even more, man. I, I think the instrumental is, in my opinion, I think the instrumental is even better than My Brother the Wind, and I absolutely love My Brother the Wind's instrumental. I think Earl is even better on Moncala. Vince is really good on Moncala as well. Vince and Earl always are going to have great chemistry. Um, Yeah, so I'm again, I'm, I'm sad to see My Brother the Wind go, but I'm stoked that it's being replaced with a song that I like even more. So again, I can't be too mad about it. Um, And then... The last one, All the Small Things, really, really like the song. Um, again, was a little upset to see that one go as well. But Heat Check, I think, is like in the same vein. And I think it's just, like just as good. I don't know if I would say it's better, but it's just as good. It's definitely more in my alley as a hoops head. Like, I love basketball. So, like, just, yeah, that was she hooking out West like Kareem did. Like, that just hits a little bit closer to home to me. So, you know, I, I, I like Heat Check a lot, um, and I think Heat Check fits because you have Vince Scully early, earlier on the album, so it's like you're getting two different sports there. Like, you get one sports track, you get the other one, whatever. Either way, really like Heat Check as well. So, when it comes down to which version I prefer between the two, I definitely prefer the streaming version. If they had these two versions, one which they were like, okay, we're going to sell exclusively to this website, which I don't know if Gala came to them or if they went to Gala, but... If they had two versions, one of which they were going to sell to the website and do the whole NFT thing, and the other one of which they were going to put out on streaming, I'm glad they went with this one to put out on streaming and that one to put out on the Gala website. Um, especially because the tracks that they chose to go on the Gala website are definitely more for the gatekeeping fans, and uh, the tracks that they chose to go on the streaming are definitely more for the casual, ah, I'll just wait till it comes out on streaming fans. Um, so they... They definitely did a good job of pitch, picking which tracks were going to go on which version. And at the end of the day, um, I think they made the right choice. And I like the streaming version 
more than the gala version i hope that if they come out with physicals which i've been looking to see if they drop them because i need some I, I need i need one of them up here for show um so i've been looking to see if they drop physicals i hope it's the streaming track list and not the gala track list or even better i hope it's the streaming track list with like a deluxe version that has the gala track list at the end or maybe just a deluxe version where the gala track list is like the tracks are added in where they kind of were on the original version um just next to the other songs as well but either way i want i want the streaming track list for show if they give me the gala tracks to, uh, also then cool but if i don't get the streaming tracks and i only get the gala track list on the physical i'm gonna be a little bit salty i'm not even gonna lie but um that's not to say that the gala one is isn't fire i bumped the gala one for like two however long until it came out on streaming and then i started bumping that version because i like that version even better but i mean i played the shit out of that album before i even had the streaming version so it is still quality regardless but i i definitely do prefer the streaming I think this is an album that um, is going to be really cool for people who, you know, a lot of people don't like Earl because of how depressing the music is. I think this is an album that can make you come around to Earl if that's the case, because the depressing stuff isn't really there on here, at least not in my opinion. Maybe maybe I'm just so used to super depressing stuff from Earl that the fact that this one's just a little bit brighter makes me think it's not really depressing, but maybe to the average person it, it is. But yeah, man, I think I think this is just a super tight knit solid track list and I think it's Earl dropping some gems, man. Um as far as just like just things that he's learned himself, just mature j how he's matured in his life, you know, it if I was going to pick some of my favorites I'm not going to say it's a lull in the album because I definitely do still really like, I still really like the tracks Mac Deuce, Sirius Black, and Dead Zone. But at the same time, those are like my three least favorites on the album. Like the stretch from uh, 100 High Street to 27 Braids and then the Caliphate and Free the Ruler to end the album. Love, like I, those, all those songs are like 10 out of 10s to me. Like some of my favorite Earl tracks. Mac Do, Sirius Black, and Dead Zone. I still really, really like those songs, but they're not some of my fa favorites. Or, Jesus Christ. They're not some of my favorite Earl tracks ever. Um, but yeah, man, overall, I think this is, again, Earl keeping it short and sweet. It's under 30 minutes, 11 songs under 30 minutes. You got to love that. Most of the songs are just a verse, a hook, maybe a, a smaller verse or a bridge maybe no hook at all like yeah man I, I think the features are awesome i think vince kills it both the songs he's on i think mike kills it on sentry um I, a lot of people don't like his verse on that song and i get like his his delivery and everything could be kind of weird and off-putting um but I, I i don't know i like it i think he came really solid on that verse um again alchemist just coming through with some really dope samples just really great production um i love that earl and I, I real quick um i love the skits on this album too uh just like different just listen to the album the little skits and the interludes throughout i think done super well I, I love all of them and i love what they stand for in context like with what earl is talking about on the album um but i also just love how earl has really reached the space and he's really been in this space ever since um I don't like shit. I don't go outside. He's he's been in this space, but I think even more so with especially with the last, you know, three to four albums, he's really really been in this space of just not giving a fuck about what what anybody else thinks he should do with his music and just doing what he wants to do with his music. Um, and I love that. That's always awesome to see because to see an artist do that, do whatever the fuck they want to do with their music, and you know, be okay, be successful with it. Um, it's it's inspiring to see and it's cool to see and i wish you i wish that we could see more of that because so many people have to cater to what is accessible or what is desired of them if they want to see success you know not many of them are able to just do straight up what they want to do and and not what everyone else wants them to do um and earl has constantly done that throughout his career and it's, I'd say it's worked out pretty well for him. I think he's widely acknowledged as one of the best rappers of his generation. Um, I think given some time, especially if he continues to release albums and especially if he continues to kind of become an OG in the game and 
continue to be extremely consistent lyrically. Like, I don't think he's ever put out a bad album lyrically, whether people want to argue about sound-wise it wasn't good, whatever. I don't think lyrically you could say he's ever put out a bad album. Um, if and, and if he keeps that up, I think there's definitely talks of Earl being one of the best rappers, you know, ever. I think he can get himself into that conversation if he just continues putting out music and, and not caring what anybody thinks and just doing what he wants to do and, and just being lyrically sharp and rapping over the samples he wants to rap over. Um, but yeah, man, as a super big Earl fan, super not disappointed with this album at all not even a little bit disappointed with this album i'm super like this this fulfilled every expectation i would have had for an album uh like this you know i don't know if it's quite on the level of like a mad villainy or something like that or maybe even like a cheat codes like as far as producer rapper collab albums go those two albums are exceptional um and there's other ones that deserve to be mentioned as well that aren't i don't have on this wall but yeah, I think this one, given some time, we're going to look at this one in a similar vein. Just be like, wow, that is a moment when one of the best producers linked up with one of the best rappers for the duration of a full project. And it, it, didn't, it did not disappoint at all. Um, yeah, so I'm super stoked about it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how you feel about Earl's recent stretch of albums. Because um, let me know how you feel not just about Voidir, but let me know how you feel about Sick, too. Because... I'm curious, is there other people like me who are like, nah, Sick is on par or just as good or maybe even better than, you know, all these other Earl albums? Because um, that's how I feel about it. I think it's, I think Earl is, like, all of his albums are relatively on par with each other. Which one is your favorite is really up to personal preference. Like, he's one of those artists where, as far as quality goes, I think, I think they're extremely, he's extremely consistent across the board from release to release to release. Um, so... Yeah, that's my opinion on Voidir. That's my opinion on Earl Sweatshirt. Let me know your guys' is in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you want more. I'm probably going to have a review for Magic 3 coming out soon as well. I know I'm late on that one as well, but, um, you know, I, this isn't this isn't like a super consistent series or anything. It's just whenever I feel like talking about an album or just anything related to music, I'm going to post something. So here we are. Um but yeah, so don't be expecting an episode every week or something, but subscribe and like because when I do drop, um, if you want to see more, you'll know when I drop. Yeah, so peace out, guys. Let me know what you think of the album.